One of the questions people sometimes have is about who is attacking their machine. You might see the IP address of the attacking machine, but not know who it is. So we're going to get the who is command to learn more. So in order to get the who is command, you probably need to do some installation, either a yum or apt install and who is, but then you get who is. So what do I do? Well, we know my machine gets attacked. It's an outward facing machine. And so I can do a grep failed on the uh, var log off log. And I get this long list of machines. All right, you can see this one right here has been hitting me quite a bit. Um, so let's see, who is this? Well, I can paste the number right there, and then I do a who is on this IP address. Well, it doesn't always tell you lots, but what it can tell you is this machine is part of a block of numbers right here, and that numbers it's registered to the four media dot bg and if you have any problems with anything from there you can email this email address and say i've got problems this ip address is attacking me and they may or may not do anything you can also see the person in charge is this uh pitar demov whatever he's the guy i guess there and here's a phone number to call him if you have trouble and you say hey you're attacking my machine um so that's kind of nice. All right, who else is attacking me? You can see there is this IP address right here. Well, let's check that one out. So who is, and paste that one right here. And you can say, oh, well this one, let's see, what does it say about this one? It apparently is some site in Korea, and um, you can see it is registered and there's information about the address um lg guess it's uh, tied to lg somehow i'm not sure if it's lg one of lg's sites or if it's lg has some kind of a uh, ip address thing but whatever um, you can also get information you can see that the ip address is issued to the company by ap nick so other information and if you want to have a complaint you can email people like the IP admin or you can usually do the uh, abuse thing and just email the abuse right there all right well that's good so let's go look at my back at my list of attackers um all right so we've got one right here let's try this one right there so who is and then that right there you can say okay uh, another one that's attacking me is this guy over in France. Well, I don't know this guy. You can go look up the abuse email address right there. You can see information uh, about it. And, well, we have uh, just the address and a few other things. And so you can kind of scroll through it and kind of figure out what information is there. Now, the who is is also good for looking up names. For example, I can look up a, uh, let's say google.com. All right, well, Google probably doesn't want everybody emailing them, but it does say, well, it's, it belongs to Google and it's in California, you know, US, and it says, if you want to email them, kind of go to this website and kind of do some more work. All right, that's fine. What if I want to do something with MIT? EDU. Well, you can see, okay, now you got information. It's the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Information there. You can see who the administrative contact is, the IT people in charge, and their contact information. You could do something, maybe Stanford. Stanford.edu. Same kind of thing. Look up information and get it there. Maybe University of Oregon, U Oregon, edu, and once again, contact information there. Now, if you were to do something like uh, who is whitehouse.gov, well, what would that give you? Well, for some reason, they don't want anybody to contact them, so it has all this privacy stuff redacted for privacy. 
they're trying to hide their identity. Maybe you want to do like a NSA.gov. Shockingly, they still don't want you to look at it. Now, what happens if you get an, uh, an IP address and you can't figure out who it is? So I try some IP address, maybe this one right here, and I can't figure out, I don't know what's in France, I have no idea. Well, you can still do some things with the IP address itself. You can go and do a dig minus x uh, trace, and sometimes you can get to information and say, okay, well, it's, it's registered to obh.net, and maybe that'll help you, maybe not. Either way, uh, you can use this information to kind of help track down who it is that's hacking or attacking you. Although you have still no idea who's actually behind it, behind it. You just know which machine is coming to attack you and where they're coming from. All right, so that is the who is command.